This episode of Out of Spec Reviews is brought to you by Magna. More on that later. Hey, welcome back to Out of Spec, and welcome to Texas. And as the saying goes, everything is bigger in Texas. I'm at the Tesla Gigafactory in Austin, not far from the airport, not far from downtown, as Elon says. And the Cyber Rodeo was actually here just a month ago or so, where Elon dressed up like his brother Kimball, and they delivered the first Model Y with the new generation underpinnings. So yeah, new generation, not as a new skin, just new gen. I'm trademarking that. <laughs> But this is the sixth major factory for Tesla, the fourth in the US. So let's start right out with talking about size. Three quarters of a mile in length, which is 15 city blocks basically, quarter mile in width. That takes the total perimeter to nearly two miles, slightly less because the corners are like angled. Um, but yeah, it's just a monstrous freaking thing of concrete. Eight million square feet of actual square footage, but the volume is where it gets you. This is the biggest factory in the world as far as volume, 338 million cubic feet. Or as Elon liked to point out in the Cyber Rodeo, 194 billion hamsters could fit in this thing. But I can kind of see some Model Ys over there, blue and black. I'm assuming those are pretty much all the new ones, which is cool. And the parking lots are massive. I did get here during a shift change of the people who are currently working either at the factory or still building out parts of it. It's hard to tell. It looks like half construction zone, half car factory, but it really is monstrous. I mean, it's just the biggest piece of cement I've ever really seen. This episode is proudly brought to you by Magna. Magna is a mobility technology company that is super unique because they touch every aspect of almost every car in the market, especially a lot of electric vehicles, and they even can produce vehicles from the ground up. Now, you may remember I shot a series just recently testing some of their new electric vehicle powertrains, so stay tuned for a lot of Magna content to come. We're going to be going in-depth with some really interesting topics with these guys, and Out of Spec wants to thank Magna for sponsoring this review and tons of other videos to come right here on Out of Spec. We look forward to working with Magna to define and find out what the future of mobility looks like. It is actually under the skin, beneath the roof, three buildings in parallel. So they made like roadways between the three buildings, like two long roadways. That allows for tractor trailers and such to get in there away from the elements, but also get pieces and parts and deliveries more to the actual place they need to be delivered to. Germany did something similar with their factory, although they just did bays all around the outside so that trucks could back up literally anywhere along the factory edge and get parts as close to where they needed to be as possible. But this is actually a more effective approach and I think it makes the whole building look better. I just don't think bays all around the edge of the perimeter look quite as good as this. So Cybertruck and Semi will be built here according to Elon next year. I will believe it when I see it, but that's exciting. This is gonna be huge and be able to build a lot of things. Also the production of the 4680 cells, which is the other big deal. That's why the Model Y is new gen. These are new 4680, which means 46 millimeters wide, 80 millimeters tall. So they are chunky boys. Um, these are the new cells being introduced in the new Model Ys they're building. So let's talk about Model Y really quick. There is large casting for the Model Y. They already introduced the rear large piece of casting. So unlike the Model 3, which is a lot of different components put together like most cars, the Model Y basically just did a giant piece and that is the rear. And then there's the battery pack. And now they are introducing a front giant piece that is casted. So it achieves Elon's dream of having essentially a three part car, dumbing it down to three parts of course. But that allows for basically simplification of engineering, efficiency in creating it, and theoretically lower cost. It just makes it all easier and all better because the new 4680 cells are a structural component essentially. That battery pack is now meant to be 
part of the structure of the car to help with its integrity, keep it more planted theoretically around corners if you're doing that with your Model Y, and it just makes everything easier. So at the moment, Tesla is now offering a standard range Model Y to go along with the performance and the long range. This is a standard, standard range all wheel drive, which I guess is about $2,000 cheaper um, if you wanna get an inventory car. At least they started pushing it to some people saying, hey, do you want your Model Y you ordered sooner? Take one of these. Has a slightly less range, um, 279 miles EPA. And I think the zero to 60 is slightly slower at five seconds but it is a new, slightly cheaper price point for a Model Y, and it has all the new underlying technology. This technology is not stuff most people would notice or care about, honestly. It's still a car that will get you from A to B in a pretty good fashion. I personally love Model 3 and Model Y, but the battery pack is the big deal. It is structural, and just like an airplane where the wings are essentially housing the fuel and they are structural to the plane, this is the same type of scenario where the battery pack is actually, you know, the batteries are part of the structure of the pack that carries them, which is really fascinating. So again, wish I could take you like on an actual factory tour. We hope to do that at some point, but this is as close as I could get. I came all the way to Austin just for this. No, I'm just kidding. I, mean, I was here already, but I was like, I may as well stop by. I just can't believe how big this building is. And I'm not even that close to it. Let us know what you guys think of the Tesla Gigafactory. How many more are they gonna make? Will this be the biggest or will they just keep getting bigger? Eventually we're gonna have to colonize Mars to make bigger factories because we're gonna run out of land room. <laughs>